Hello everybody and welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadows or Lords of Shadow I guess we're on to uh, chapter 8 yeah chapter 8 curious isn't it love can be a powerful weapon it seems even to those who are dead Laura has spared him though she has the power to take his life she has given it back and all for love perhaps she remembers her true mother's arms around her comforting her before she became this creature perhaps she remembers the feelings of love thought long lost to her heart all those years ago a child's love is without bitterness or boundaries a pure love i wonder what will become of her this lost soul when we kill her present mother and send her to the pits of hell where she belongs. And when it showed up, the, the words insert this too. Uh, I forgot to mention this before my last uh, recording session with this game. It says this game, uh, when you get it on disc, it's uh, based on two discs. Uh, but seeing how I have it downloaded onto my console, I don't have to switch discs. Uh, I have been, I have seen a young child crying in the darkness. My first thought was to comfort her, but something stayed my hand. There's, there was an evil surrounding her, something unholy. I made a quick egg escape up the rafters uh, of the castle, and I'm now exhausted i have been unable to salvage any more gems here many for many of my brothers do did did not get this far i fear that the task set before us is impossible and the world is lost but i must not give up Now, I should let you guys know that this chapter has got more puzzles and contraptions and stuff like that in it. Um, actually, the second, I think it's the second to the last level is a, a pain. It's a boss fight. That's not what the pain is. There's, um, after the boss fight, is a puzzle. One of the hardest puzzles you could ever do. <laughs> that I find, that I find is very very frustrating all right before we solve this puzzle we have some a fight scene Come on. There we go. What kept you?
Oh, that hurt. Oh, damn it. I didn't get close enough. That's okay. The second time around, I end up destroying it, so. Absorbing more energy, dummy. Oh, skeleton! It is a tornado, and it's a skeleton. So I got a skeleton right there. Well, there's some bones here, but I don't think they get out. And as you're trying to solve this puzzle, but I can't get past it. They told me that these clues would be enough to figure out a solution, but I am unable to find it. There are six runes in total, three of which, three of each color. Okay, this again. There are two blues on the left side of the door. Okay. Uh, the rooms closest to the door and those furthest away from it match the color of the ones uh, in front of them. Okay. The rooms closest to the door and those more furthest away from it match the color of the ones in front of them. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, at least one of these rooms, which is furthest away from the door, is red. Oh, okay, not red, blue. He said blue. So, he said blue would be, there's blue, two blue runes on the left side of the door, so. Oh, that's red. I wish I could go back to that health farm to get my health back, but unfortunately you can't. But never fear, there's a there's a, a, a life gem on the other side of this big old chain, so.
power. I've used my most of my light magic and uh, attack them. All right, now what you want to do is you want to spend this, but unfortunately that moves back too fast for you to go through it. So what you want to do is uh, you, oops, one second. I, I forgot which one was it's been a it's been uh, about, about a week since I last played I forgot which button was the roll button ah damn it there we go Alright, what you want to do here after smashing stuff is you get the tower key. And of course, you get attacked. That's right. And once you dispose of them, you want to use this to open the gate. And go across the next bit of the chain. Oh no wait, it's not a life gem, it's a light gem. But there is a health bump too. So. Going into a dragon's mouth. A bayonet. Ooh, bats. That's enough for uh, upgrade. Awesome. <laughs> Gonna smash some stuff to see if I can get any items. Man, those statues are really lifelike. It almost looks like they're going to come to life and attack you. But they don't, of course. 